Okay, today I'm boiling shrimp. These are shrimp that have not been cooked. Um, these ones you can get in the store cheaper than the ones that are already uh, pre-cooked. And then um, you do not want to eat these raw. You need to cook them. And you also need to shuck them. You can see here uh, they come with their um, skin still on. You just peel it away. It's very easy to do. You just take your finger and after you've thawed them, usually they're frozen, so you want to first thaw them, and then you take the, just take and peel basically their skin off, it's real easy, and dispose of that. You want to bring some water to boiling. I've added a little bit of salt water, you can see that it's boiling. And this is just one way to cook them. Some people like to pan fry them in, in butter or other uh, oils, and that's all great too. Um, me, I'm just going to take and put them in the, the water. And it really is not going to take very long for these guys to cook. You want to be careful not to splash any water on yourself. If I had both hands uh, available to me right now, which I don't, I would do this a little different, but I'm holding the, the phone in one hand. You want to make sure too you, you stir this uh, pretty good. I've got a little tail here I'm trying to pinch off because you're not going to eat that anyway. Now I'm going to grab a spoon here and just I'm going to just continually stir these guys. And I'm not going to set the timer on my stove um, because it's really not going to take that long and I'd rather just do this instead of by timer just by watching them. Um, I want to make sure that they heat up while inside. Uh, this is just to show you after a few seconds, you can already see they're taking on a little pinkish color. Um, for me, one tip uh, that I found helpful is um, I watch for, for the water to start boiling back again, and that's usually a good indication that a lot of the heat has um, gone into the, the shrimp and that they're close to being ready. So. I'm just going to keep stirring them, get the water moving around on them. And then after I do that, I, I shock it with cold water. So um, I have this already. I'll put that in the sink. And then I'll just, uh, just like you would pasta, uh, take and dump them in there and run cold water over them. Um, so it's, it's a very easy meal to prepare and you can save money uh, by buying them this way rather than buying them pre-cooked. It's not a very hard process. You do want to make sure that you cook them thoroughly, but you don't want to overcook them either. So that's why I'm, I'm monitoring them closely here. And it hasn't started to boil again yet, so I'm going to keep stirring. And again, other people may, may do this a little different. I found this worked, works well for me. If you have another uh, tip or trick you'd like to share, uh, feel free to leave a, a comment. You know, I'd love to, to hear from you. But it definitely is a little more work to do it this way, um, but I find it gives you also more control over uh, the cooking aspect. If you buy them frozen and pre-cooked, then uh, you're just buying them based on however prepare you know whoever you bought them from prepare them, and they may not prepare them uh, with the care and attention that, that you would. So uh, it's not just the price that causes me or as a reason why I buy them this way. I, I like to have the control over cooking them as well. It's just a nice bonus that you get to save money too at the same time. So now you can see I'm getting some bubbles. And that's the first uh, hint to me that they're getting close to, to done. I'll pull one up here and I'll show you. 
if I can uh, zoom in on that. That looks pretty good. Um, I can actually, oh, it's going to be a little warm, but I can, can touch it and, and just feel that the meat is warm. I'm just touching the, the center now. It does feel like it's, it's cooked all the way through. And I don't want to overcook it, for sure. You also see all the little white bubbles here coming to the surface. Another good indicator that uh, your, meat, your meat is done here. So with that, I'm going to shut it off. And I had the burner on high, and now I have it off. So I'm going to take the, this over here in the only clean spot in my sink at the moment. And I will dump this. And I'm sorry for the footage right now while I do this carefully. Okay. If the steam uh, will go away, I'll show you what we, we are left with. Huh, I may need to defog my phone here, excuse me.